Right before Gill was set to return from his injury, the Illini headed up to Bloomington, Indiana in what turned out to be one of the wildest finishes in the history of the program. Down 11 points with just over nine minutes to play, the Illini were sparked by a P.J. Bowman three and battled back to take the lead on a Steve Barno long ball with one minute and 38 seconds remaining. With the Illini up two and only seconds left, Indiana turned to their sharpshooter, Jay Edwards. People may not remember that shot that Jay hit. Jay's pinky toe was the only thing that was in bounds. He's falling out of bounds. He lets it go. It goes over the top of the backboard and hits nothing but cotton. Eight seconds on the clock. Guarded by Anderson. Drives to the corner. Drives all the way in. Fadeaway jumper is good at the gun. There's no way that ball could go in. He was completely beyond the baseline. He shot it over the backboard. It went in. It was the most unbelievable shot in that situation I've ever seen. There's never been anything like it. Jay Edward catches the ball on the left baseline as you're looking at the basket, and I see that he's turning to his right, and he's behind the backboard, and Lowell Hamilton is attacking him, and Lowell misses the ball as he's taking a fadeaway behind the backboard, and it goes in. So, you know, I mean, that was incredible. I thought, what's going on here? What a great shot that was. While the Hoosier crowd was in a frenzy, Coach Henson and the Illini were drawing up their own miracle shot. We set up two screens for Nick Anderson, and we told, uh, we I think we had three seconds to go. We had uh, Bardo run the baseline. They did not put a man on the throw-in man. He ran the baseline, and we told him to throw it to a spot that uh, Nick Anderson will get to that spot. For some reason, Bobby Knight doesn't guard the inbounds pass. Bardo's 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Through a Joe Montana, Brett Favre strike, John Elway, I mean, on the money. Tried my best from my flag football days, being a quarterback, and laid it out there, and luckily it got to Nick right where he needed it. He catches it, he turns around, and of course Nick was so physical. How can a guy turn around while he's going up in the air and still have balance? Well, Nick could do it. And he shot that ball, and of course the buzzer went off, and it was bang. People don't know, Nick shot a jump shot. There was not a, you know, one of those push shots. That was an elevation 40 inches off the ground jumper. Steve Bardo will inbound it. And it comes to Nick Anderson. Long, long jumper. Anderson. God! Anderson hits it! Anderson hits it! Anderson hits it! Illinois wins! Illinois wins! Illinois wins! Illinois wins! wins. There oh, baby! Nick Anderson hit that ball from long range at the gun. The Illini win it 70 to 67. He was 10 feet. Woo! Ten feet beyond the line, the arc, when he caught the ball on the sideline, he took a dribble and shot it. He's at the bottom of the pile over here. I don't know if you'll ever see him again. And it was sort of like a dead silence. I don't know if you've ever seen 20, 19,000 people just shut up. But that's the way it was, and the only thing you could hear were our voices. When the ball went in, before I jumped, and as I jumped, I turned, I looked at it, and you, I'll never forget it. He was just crushed. And I have to say, I felt kind of bad for him, but not that bad. Though Anderson will always be remembered by Illini fans for the shot, Nick amazed everyone from the day they first laid eyes on him.